Hi Aquarius, how are you? And welcome back. Thank you for all your likes and your subscriptions. This week you are number seven, so you're climbing up to become number one. So I hope you will subscribe and give us the thumbs up um, because it helps with the algorithm, the robot of YouTube, to find uh, the videos for new viewers. So please do. And um, welcome back. We've got something to celebrate because we've been together for four years. It just seems like yesterday. Anyway, this is your reading for the 25th to the 31st of July 2022 and we've just come into Leo. So the energy has shifted to passion, fiery energy, also being strategic, logic, planning and taking that plan into action and going for what you want. Now, that said, um, your card, your first card, I'm starting with two oracle cards and two oracle cards at the end of the reading. This is sort of like testing out what, whether the reading will resonate with the word or question, why? Why should I receive? Why should I do this? You might have many whys. Also the why um, also is why should I get motivated or why, how, why would I be motivated to carry on? especially if things are really difficult. Um, as things are difficult, they have been difficult the last two years, first the lockdown, now everything is expensive, and also disasters going on in our world. So why? Ask that, say that, and then see whether you can answer it. What is your motivation? What is your drive? What is your intention? What do you want to reach? What are your goals? Why do you have these goals? The power of knowing why is important because this will motivate you to carry on, to go for what you want, that fiery energy. Wow, she's got a book, so why should I study? Well, it will give you wings so you can branch out and fly, reach for the sky and fly and get you to where you want to go. So I'm just putting that in the holder. You won't be able to see them because I've only got so much space. You also have the boat and this boat reminds me of the Ark of Noah. So there could be a big load of different things coming in and in a good way. That is what I mean. You've got the ship or the boat in uh, the Lenamon as well, and it means abundance. Also, um, abundance is coming in your way. You could be doing a boat trip of some kind, a day trip or a cruise, money or property through an inheritance, winning or a windfall. So there's abundance coming in. So it does resonate with the why card. Why should I be motivated? Why should I do this? Why? Because abundance is coming in. You've been longing for some kind of abundance, whether it's in career or whether it is money or love. Also, like I said, we are in the energy of Leo, so there could be new passion, but you know, passion doesn't last. It's fun and it's exciting whilst it lasts, but people do get hurt because if we are fond of somebody and we've fallen in love then usually we want to extend the um, the uh, passion into a natural relationship i'm just trying to get the whole picture for you so bear with me okay so you can see all the cards okay i'm using the quantum tarot this week and the teacup tarot from anne ellis from anne ellis Ta angel tarot so do pop over and see her okay also you come in with the five of cups okay i can understand why you're walking around with the question why why should i why should i not why would i because the five of cups means that you could be reminiscing about the past and crying over spilled milk what has happened has happened you can't change the past the five of cups have a three have fallen and two are still standing so don't look at what you don't have look at what you have and take two those two cups 
and start building and go on to the ten. So go for the ten of cups. And you might have to start all over again, but it, take it as an adventure and as excitement. So stand up, dust yourself off and carry on. And accept it and take it as an adventure, something new. Okay, you can change the present but and the future, but not the past. You've also got the ten of um, the ten of the bigger karma, which is the wheel of fortune. Ten is an ending, and where there is an ending, there is a new beginning. Also, what goes round comes round. What goes up must come down. So definitely, life is looking uh, um, good because you are the wheel is turning upwards for you to positivity this is also the karma card the karma card meaning if you've done wrong or good it will be returned to you um, uh, uh, it will return to you threefold if somebody's done you wrong or good it will return to them in threefold as well and here you are you've got happy move uh, etc getting married um, uh, getting promoted on the leaves all kinds of little words so if you want to be motivated uh, write a little word on uh, little uh, pieces of paper and put them in a, in a jar and shake the jar every day and take a, a quote of motivation out of the jar every day and that can reset the button to positive thinking also, you could be meeting somebody new, you could be getting married, you could be getting engaged, going on to the le next level in romance or in career. In career, it could mean a promotion or a wage rise. So definitely, abundance is coming in. So this resonates with the teacup fortune card. The little round one. That abundance is coming in through family or through working hard and fighting for what you believe. You could be dealing or meeting a Taurus, a Leo, a Scorpio or an Aquarius, as that card represents those three. Now you've also got number four. Number four, the four of cups, also means that you could be feeling this depressed. So it is um, the four, uh, uh, confirming the five of cups, that you could be depressed because you're looking back and you're not looking ahead and you're not looking around you so look ahead and look around you be a conscious of what is happening around you because there is a hand coming in and bringing in an offer so get off your laurels and don't get depressed get out of your head and get off your bum and then you, things you can change things if you come into action and go for what you want you've had time enough to think about it what you wanted why because life goes on and you must carry on because there is loads of beauty around you okay life has its ups and downs friendship uh, friendships have up and downs work or career has up and downs but stand up learn from it and leave the negative behind and go ahead and change it to the way you would like it to the positive we've also got the uh, unity card in the five of it looks like the five of cups but i'm not sure because this is uh, worded differently um the five of cups reminds me of the um emperor i know the hierophant because unity when you're getting married uh you unite the priest the high priestess uh high priest sorry the hierophant unites people and brings them together so you could be seeking advice from a spiritual person you could seek advice from an advocate a lawyer somebody that works for an institution or for a municipality this could be about prenuptials this could be about contracts uh, the job contract the t uh, the 10 uh, the, the the 10 big arcana the wheel of fortune means that you've found the job that you really would love to do and you're getting the contract signed uh, checked and signed so again, Taurus, Taurus, so there you go, T Taurus is prominently in your reading. Now Aquarius, you're halfway there in, uh, in a situation or dealing with a project, you're halfway there. You've got two fives and you've got, uh, let me see, 
I thought you had two fours. No. Five five. Oh yes, you've got a four and a four here. I didn't get to that. Okay, so that could be seeking advice. Either from somebody that you respect and that's mature and trust, or from a professional. You also have the page of uh, wands upside down. So when it's the right way up, you could be getting a news. This could be an offer of a job. And also um, it could be news about a child. So since it's upside down, the news is not coming in yet. Okay. You won't, there won't, you won't be news coming from a child. Perhaps you're expecting news from somebody younger or um, about a child. Perhaps you might be trying to get pregnant and you are hoping that you were pregnant. Or an institution. Some of you might be waiting like he's sitting on his laurels and he's getting depressed because he's waiting for the news. This could be you because the news is not coming in because it's upside down. Perhaps about adoption or about a child on how a child is doing. I've got a feeling this little bit is really specifically meant for one or two people. It could be about an adoption. Okay, because we do have the boat and it looks like a Chinese boat. So it could be a child coming from the Orient. It's a very strong feeling, but you do have the four of ones. So perhaps you could be also receiving news about an offer that you've made on a house as the four of ones means moving home or getting married. Perhaps you, because we've got the Hierophant here, perhaps you're waiting for news from the church when there is an opening to get married. Okay. Also, um, the, the Four of Wands means marriage. You might want to get married, but you're waiting for some kind of delay to um, pass. The Four of Wands means, obviously, celebrations are coming in and also you could be moving home or buying a home or renting a new home. And sometimes we have to um, be a lot. If you're getting a house from the housing estate or the housing uh, uh, government or home organization, in every country it's called different, but the housing uh, from the states, the uh, governmental housing, then sometimes we have to be uh, put into a lottery and then we have the draw luck of the draw so because there's a shortage to houses so perhaps this time you're not hearing the news that you've won but perhaps or the um that uh, you will because this is a positive card so this can turn around but it will be still something in the baby shoes of something in the baby shoes um so there will be a celebration this could be to say that your offer has been accepted on a house or you have the lucky draw of um, the lottery because I do see guidance here so you could be seeking advice about a house uh, this could be a real estate agent but this could also be somebody to do with the housing committee so on how to uh, change this energy right okay Perhaps you you will get the news, but there's no children allowed in the housing. Sometimes um, that is true. Sometimes like senior, uh, this could also be meaning for a senior uh, citizen because senior housing, you're not allowed to have any children over the age of 18, things like that. So that's why that child is in place. So you will be getting the news, but there are no children above 18 are allowed to live in senior uh, uh, accommodation with their parents at least in Holland you're not allowed it's the same things that sometimes you can't have a pet okay but there will be celebrations so somebody is helping you to be strategic be a winner and slow but steady because Taurus is slow and steady so you are have both feet on the ground you're trying to find the balance because we've got temperance here number 14 which is also a five so you have three fives 
Temperance also represents um, to Sagittarius, so you might have applied for um, a celebration or a wedding uh, last December, but we were still in lockdowns and things weren't clear, so that could be that delay that you haven't heard anything. So if you haven't heard anything by now, and especially in the time of Taurus, then chase it up if you're still wanting to get married. Say it's been seven months now and uh, I would like to have an answer. And you've been trying to balance um, getting things ready and the home front and the work front or the finances to get things done. Listen to your intuition as well because we do have the new moon on the 28th and you've got the high priestess. So you might be very intuitive or perceptive or um, empathic around two days around the f new moon so that could be on the 26th 25th could already have effect of the moon energy trying to balance everything you've got number two so that means also um, um, union um, coming together partnering up whether it's in business or in marriage and you could be celebrating um, the housewarming or if it is a business the business opening um, so perhaps you might be balancing on getting things ready for the opening of the house or the business or the wedding whatever you will meet people at these gatherings and since the four uh, of ones represent the four corners of the house and a house is built on solid foundations these friendship or partnerships will be uh, solid and because as they are built on solid foundations and the four means stability and also productivity. You are definitely in balance, especially if you're partnering up with uh, this person that is with you or uh, coming in. Take your time though be, and think it through before you say yes to anything. Get the contracts sorted out. Listen to your um, intuitive feeling learn from the past you don't want to lose out again also you have the uh, well, let me see you have the world card the world card i couldn't i couldn't suggest it whether it was somebody falling down or coming up so yes look at her she's in balance and the world is her oyster and yet the world is small but yet so large so you are in balance you will be celebrating look at her she's balanced and she's jumping about with two buttons balancing so balance is the key word here this week don't do anything in haste and then you won't have to repent in leisure the world is more or less the same energy as the all over energy the wheel of fortune getting married getting engaged having a promotion or a wage price uh, moving home going on holiday you could be moving the business you could be expanding the business because both these cards means expansion because you might find you're, you're pregnant or you if you're getting married here that's confirming these two cards as well if you're getting married you are expanding you're making things bigger so you could be making the family unit bigger or you can make the family bigger by getting pregnant or uh, even uh, you could be hearing of a birth or and this birth can be of a child but could also be of a project like expanding the home putting on a conservatory perhaps or um, building an extension if you're not moving home but making things prettier homelier and better and bigger but remember, it is not the quantity, it's the quality. So do it in good quality. Also, I'm seeing a, um, a rainbow here uh, surrounding the world. So ancestors are with you. Family is important to you. Um, also, um, you could be reuniting um, with family or friends, as this is also the travel card. Beautiful, beautiful reading so far. So definitely you could be cruising, you could be going to a different country and I feel it's an oriental country and so long you keep motivated. So ask the question why?
Why is this happening? Why is it delayed? Why am I not getting any news? So chase it up if you can. Why am I feeling down? Because you are bored, you're depressed. So don't look back, learn from the past and carry on. You've, you, you're the one that can make the future and the present better than the, uh, than the uh, uh, past. If something is not in action, because this is the page of wands, and that is Sagittarius as well. We've got Sagittarius here mainly, but don't forget Aries or uh, Leo. We've got Leo twice here as well with the world and the Wheel of Fortune. And we do have Taurus here as well. And uh, Leo. Oh, sorry, Leo. Sorry. This is the Hierophant. That's Taurus. Sorry about that. This is Pisces or Cancer, the, the High Priestess. Also, play your cards close to your chest. Don't tell everybody what you're up to and, and, and besides your partner, okay? Now, we've got the Marriage card in the Wheel, the World, the Four of Wands, um, the High Priest, and look what I've got here. You've got a couple here. The High Priest and the High Priestess. We've got the Wedding card. So the couple. These are the opposites. The High Priest and the High Priestess. As the Hierophant is also known as the High Priest. The Wedding. You could be getting married, but you could be going to a wedding. Like the Four of Wands. The World and the Wheel. This situation involves a wedding. So if you're going to a wedding, you know what the saying is. From a wedding comes a wedding. And you've got the beautiful card, the Y, the boat, and you've got from the Humming uh, Birds Oracle, Birds Eye View. So take time out. Now, I told you, you're not getting the news. So this could also, this feels like a delay um, because the celebration card you are going to celebrate is lightning. So chase it up, turn it round, and then you will receive the news. So get an other perspective on things, in other words, because it's upside down. It reminds me of the hanged man, and that is delays. So it is time to chase it up. You've got the clock here, and also um, things are hanging up in the air. Like I said, it reminds me, this card, of the hanged man. So if something is in suspension, now, the hummingbird can fly backwards, forwards, tilted in any way. So, be flexible, compromise, um, twig and tweet, but it is time to chase it up, whatever it is. Get the information. Fly high and observe from above. Here you will find new perspective, greater understanding and compassion. Wow. And you've got the world here. You can look down to earth and you can, that is also, look on the web. This could be a message, look on internet, look on the web um, and get a bird's eye perspective, okay? See the big picture as well, is what somebody is telling me. See the big picture, don't give up, don't sit on your laurels, don't look back. Only look at the present and look forward to what is coming in and be grateful and be open to receive. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Take care, stay safe. And if you are living in a very hot climate or it is hot, like in the UK and in Europe, then take your sunscreen and your water with you. Don't get dehydrated and don't give up because you've got a beautiful week. Take care.